how to mm. today, how to wrap the BMW 740Li hood. So, car's white, or car was white. We're gonna wrap it matte olive green. Everything else is done. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so that way all you DIY guys at home can knock this out. Super simple hood. Um, big thing is the material. If you have good material, it's gonna go super easy. If you have difficult material, it's gonna go hard. So today we're using Avery matte olive green. I think I said that already. So tools you need, wrap glove. Um, I recommend using the ghost glove. We are not sponsored by ghost PPF wrap glove. If they want to sponsor us, I mean, I'm not going to say no, because we use the all the time. Other thing you need, squeegee. Put a monkey buffer on so you don't scratch the vinyl. And then, nice blade. This is a 30 degree blade. So, that is 30 degrees right there. Amazon, Amazon. I think they sell this on Amazon. Maybe not, maybe. Otherwise... Any wrap distributor, Metro Restyling, uh, Fellers has it. But yeah, just look up Ghost Glove on Amazon. You will not be disappointed. So first step is cleaning. We've already prepped the surface. Um, basically what you want to do when you bring the car in is wash it. Take some isopropyl alcohol, spray it on the hood, wipe it with a microfiber towel. Make sure that you get all the edges. So everything underneath all around make sure you get the back another big thing is make sure that you clean the windshield up if there's dust debris any kind of crap right here when you lay the vinyl it could get sucked up and you'll have a little bit of contaminants on this area which you don't want so we've already prepped the surface another thing you would want to do even with new cars what we do is we'll clay bar it so either get a clay bar or a clay mitt spray some type of slip solution so we'll just use like Johnson & Johnson, a little bit of water, spray it on, clay bar everything, and then wipe it off, hit it with isopropyl alcohol one last time before wrapping, and then you can, come. This, this is called a tack cloth. So basically it's like a sticky type of microfiber towel. And what this does is, say we did our final wipe down with alcohol and everything, take your tack cloth, put it on and then this is gonna get any leftover like dust, dirt, anything you might have missed when you were doing your final wipe down. So you can do this on the windshield as well. This will not scuff off the paint. It's not very gritty or anything. It just feels like a cloth that has, I don't know, some adhesive on it. I don't know, what would you call it? <laughs> sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a sticky towel. That's literally what it is. Here, if you don't have a friend, I'll show you guys quick how to do that. So take your piece and you're gonna set it on one of the sides and then you're gonna unroll it across the hood. So this is the no friend way. No friend way, you gotta. Oh. Yeah. No friend way. No friend way. <laughs> So lay it on like this, so as you can see, whole thing is covered, right? Might have to give it, oh actually no, you got enough to flap over. So what you want to do, the no friend way, is you're going to take your corner, I actually won't do it, you're going to take your corner, tack this side, take your corner, stick it to this side, and you're going to take the liner and unroll it this way. And then you're going to do the four corners, which I'll show you guys how to do. Now, me and my friend here. Come here, friend. Uh, you can't really see me. <laughs> friend. <laughs> We're going to do this the two-person way. And here we go. All right, now you can keep going. So take the vinyl, hold it like you're folding a bed sheet. So NS is holding the corners. I'm holding the other corners. So are you good on the top? I believe so. It looks like we're good. And then you're going to pull toward you. So you're going to pull horizontally across the hood. You ready? Yeah. And go. I need a little higher. Higher? Uh, we well, actually, you're good. I need... Should we just relay it? Nope. I'll just do this. So... Pick up on your hand. Actually, here. You good now? Yes. Okay. It's still pretty flat. So I had to readjust a little bit. Wasn't laid completely to the corner. So, 
Once you get the initial lay down like this, what you're gonna do is come, pick a corner to start with. So I'm starting with this upper corner over here. So I'm gonna take the material and I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a shimmy. Pull down, I'm gonna lock this here, lock this here, right? So that side's good. If you're worried about it, take a magnet, put a magnet right here on this corner. So this is fender, this is hood. So I haven't tacked anything here yet, I've tacked on the fender. Then you're gonna take this piece, That's fine. That's fine. Still hold it. Take this piece, give it a little shimmy, lay it down to here. So when you have a recess like this, don't just pull across because you're going to create what's called an adhesive dot. So make sure you pop it up right here, and then lay it down like so. So I'm gonna go to this side so we see all the fingers are going this way. So I'm taking the corner, I'm gonna pop this up a little bit. So I'm holding it like this. I'm applying pressure this way and this way. This is where the point would be. So I'm applying pressure on either side of the point. A little shimmy, down, tuck that. Okay. Little shimmy there. Is good. So, looks almost like glass here. So, one last corner to do is this one, and then we're going to fix this part right here. So, you want your vinyl to look like glass before you start squeegeeing. So same thing with this corner, this is my point, point right here, I am pulling on either side of the point, a little shimmy, down, and then I'm just going to clean these up right over here. And I'm not pulling too hard, I'm just giving it light pressure and letting it fall. I think 30% stretch is the max you can do, I'm not anywhere near that. So again, this is no heat. This is Avery with absolutely no heat. All I'm doing is taking the vinyl and just putting it where I want it to go. Boom. Boom. There we go. So, pretty good. These areas we can clean up in a little bit. So I'm gonna take my blade actually and I'm gonna trim some of this excess so I can maneuver the vinyl a little bit more. Same thing with this side here. All right. So this looks pretty good. These parts will clean up a little bit more once we get to this area. So throw the wrap glove on. All right. Then with matte film, I'm actually gonna grab some water. So with matte film, always recommend, kind of miss a little bit of water on it. Your monkey strip should for the most part protect from scuffing up the vinyl, but just to be on the safe side, doesn't hurt to just give it just a little bit of mist. That way also, say you're doing gloss black on a roof, if you do this, the mist will kind of show you where you were, so that way you can see your overlap strokes. But basically for this one, I always start the middle, 
going to go down. So this is where the emblem goes. And then I'm going to go up. So this is my starting point right here. From then, I'm going to squeegee either this way or this way. Doesn't really matter which way you go. Personal preference. I'm just going to go this way. So I start in the middle. You always want to hold your squeegee at like a, I don't know, 30 degree angle to the actual surface that you're squeegeeing on. And you want to do strokes that kind of overlap like this. You don't want to go too far this way or too far this way. You kind of want to keep it right about here. So the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So we'll go into the top. And then make sure to overlap your previous stroke. Suck this down. You can use your palm, you can use your fingers. That's what the wrap gloves for. So once we get to this area, notice how it looks like there's a lot of air trapped in this channel right here, right? So this air has got to go somewhere. It's either going to go this way or it's going to go this way. Got some fingers right here that we'll have to lift up and fix. But for now, let me just make sure that this is all good. So what I like to do also, the area you just squeegee, take your glove hand and just go over it. Make sure that there's no trap air or any little areas you might have missed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna create a line here. So I'm breaking up this channel and this channel right here with this line right here. So this part is not tacked, this part is tacked. Tacked means it's squeegee down on the hood area. So. All this air has to go somewhere. If I keep squeegeeing it, it's gonna make a big bubble here because it can't escape. So what I'm gonna do is lift up a little bit and all it creates a pocket for all the air in the air channel to go in. So I'm gonna take my palm back and forth. Again, this is a BMW 740 Li hood. This is one of the more simpler hoods to do. Hoods with scoops like the Dodge, Track Crocs, Challengers, Chargers, whatever it may be. There's a bunch of other cars too. Those are going to be a little different. Next time we get one in here, we'll do a video on those, how to properly do the scoops so they don't fail. So again, I'm holding this channel up the whole time and pushing the air. You can see all this now is down. that finger out so I'm going along this body line to where I drew the line here so I'm following the body line up there's still air right here palming this back and forth to get rid of it again I'm not pulling at all all I'm doing is holding the material up and my corner is right here. I'm gonna hook that corner. So this is good. We just gotta get rid of this little area here. Again, this is no heat. You haven't touched heat yet. Okay, I'm creating the channel. So little fingers like this, here bring it in so I can show them. So if you see something like this, go from the bottom, lift it up, get your finger down the edge, just like that gone. 
So once I get to fingers that are super tight like these, what I like to do is I'm gonna unstick the vinyl. Again, I'm not pulling at all. All I'm doing is just lifting it up and then I'm holding a little tension. It goes down just like that. So same thing with this one. Okay, so notice how all the fingers are gone now. So I'm just gonna give it just a little shimmy. And again, all I'm doing is just using finger weight to roll this here. And I'm just gonna let it down like that. Work those out. If they get super tight like this, this is where it's good to use just a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna see if I can get these. So heat gun, another tool you might need, or you will need. Heat gun, we use the Porter cable ones. We set the temp setting right in the middle. So this is the coolest setting. This is the hottest setting. When we vinyl wrap, I'll just set it up and down. I don't know the exact temperature that that is. It hasn't failed us yet, so we just that's what we use. So take this. I'm gonna lift this part up a little bit. I'm gonna lift it until the very tip of the finger. Like so, so now, all I'm doing is holding tension. I'm not pulling, I'm just holding it firm. Take your heat gun, you're always gonna start heating from your fingers to where it is, very gently. And that's it. Don't need more heat than that, and then just gently lay it down. No pull whatsoever. And just like that, no stretch mark, no adhesive line, nothing. Finish out this. So this part is all good. Finish some of these. So I'm rounding out the corner everywhere on this, right? So now this half of the hood is done. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So we showed you guys how to do this side and let's cut it. I just finished out this side, exact same process as over there. We're gonna show you guys how to do recesses in this area. So something like this, can the camera see that pretty good? Do you need me to put a light on or? No, it's good right here. So basically this is an indented area. The way BMWs are made is when you pop the emblem off here, there's a pinhole right there and a pinhole right there. So go around the edge. So what I'm using is the tip of my finger. Go around the edge to make sure you don't trap any air. And again, this is where the film plays a huge part in this. If it's good film with really good air release channels, this will go very well. If you bought some eBay cheaper film, this may not go well. So I'm tucking all along the edge here. Then I'm gonna go across the middle. So again, my air channel is in this hole and in this hole. So I wanna push everything to here and to here. So boom, going around. Very similar to how you would do a door cup as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how we took the corners and where we cut. So take your wrap blade. If this is a new blade, you don't necessarily need to crack it. I've used this blade a couple times, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and this is how you crack a 30 degree blade. So this is a blade dispenser slash breaker. It's made by NT Cutter, which is also where I get the blades from. Again, Amazon, just put NT Cutter Blade Bank or just NT cutter blade dispenser. So you're gonna take it out and you can see some of the blades are perforated or they have those lines. So that's where you crack the blade. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it in here up until it covers up that black line. And that's how you crack your blade right there. So now I'm gonna Take my vinyl off the vehicle. 
and I'm gonna trim it a little bit just so I have a little less than this to play with. So say I'm gonna cut about half of this off because I don't, I just don't need it and it's gonna get in the way. So again, always be cognizant of where the vehicle is on the under part and how much of the blade you have out. So if I'm holding it up here, I can get a pretty big blade. If I'm holding it right here, I wouldn't suggest that. Pop it off the car. Cut this out. Taking this. Now I'm just trimming the excess. That's all I'm doing right now. All this excess material that I don't need. So let's just say we'll start with this corner right here. So what we do is you're going to take the vinyl, lift it up to where there's no fingers at all. So you're going to take your thumb and your finger and you're going to squeeze the vinyl like this. So this is where the point of the corner is right here. Your fingers are going to go right on that point. You're going to hold the vinyl, tuck underneath, and then push this way and this way. And that is going to be a tucked corner. Now, again, this is no heat. This is Avery with no heat at all. So I'm going to take my blade and you're going to trim on the inside portion of the corner. So can you see that? Yeah. So you're going to take your blade and your blade is going to go flush with the hood itself. Little poke and I'm trimming this way. And then I'm going to take it and I am trimming this way. Okay. And then take your thumb, push everything down. So that is a full coverage corner. So it's wrapped all the way underneath. It's trimmed on the inside portion. Now, if you did this correctly, take your heat, give it a little bit of heat. Notice how it doesn't pull back. It doesn't finger. It doesn't cause any issues. So that's when you know you've done your corner correctly. That corner is going to sit there. What happened is when you gave it the little cold stretch and tucked it underneath, once you heat it, it's going to shrink into that corner. So this is how you get a nice solid corner where there's no color underneath showing where it's green wrapped around. So I'm going to knock out the other corners and then we're going to show you guys where we usually trim on the inside portion of the trunk. Okay. So this is usually a common corner that is a little tougher for people just because you have the fender here, you have the hood here, you don't really have too much space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untuck here. So there's my corner right there, right? So this is all untucked. Now what I'm going to do is take your vinyl again, give it just a little bit of a cold stretch and then tuck your finger underneath, push out this way. And this way. So here, come show them on this side. So do you guys see how it's tucked right on the edge of that corner right there? Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to pull this up. So I'm taking the tip of my finger, pushing it in through here. Okay, just like that. Another thing you can do, I'm just gonna untuck this side real quick so I can lift the hood up and show you guys a different view of it. So what we did was we unstuck the vinyl from anywhere it was connected to the fender. Make sure you unstick it from the windshield too because when you lift up, if it's tacked on the windshield, it's gonna start pulling this vinyl and you don't want that. So BMW on this particular car, the corner is more exposed if you lift the hood up like this. So we're going to do the same exact process we did for this corner right here. So take your two fingers and you kind of got to maneuver a little bit, give it a push down and then you're going to go this way and this way. So that is a full coverage corner and you're going to take your blade and you're going to trim on the inside portion. So on this portion of it. All right, so there's my corner right here. Little blade 
And what I'm gonna do is, while I'm holding tension down here, just gonna give it a trim right there. So I trimmed this side and then I'm gonna trim this side. Take your finger and you're gonna push down on either side of the corner and those flaps you just trimmed are gonna lay down just how they should on both sides. Full coverage corner. Trimming the back end, lift the hood up. Usually I'll leave a quarter inch to a half inch. So I'm holding this side and I'm trimming with my blade. And I'm following the natural body line of the hood. So pop that out. So we always do corners first, always do corners first and then do straights. So since this corner is done, I'm taking my finger and I'm rounding this edge first so I don't get any air trapped on the actual edge itself. So this corner we did, this corner we did. So here, show them this view right here. So notice how the hood curves like this. So see how there's a finger right there? Take your thumb, your forefinger, give it just a little pull and tuck underneath and then flatten it out with your thumb. So same thing for right here. Kind of just using your thumb to round out the corner. This is all good. And then you're going to take the tip of your fingernail, go around this edge like so. Go ahead and show them that. And then we're going to trim right flush with the hood. So all this is still going to be green, but the inside portion is going to be white. So we did this corner. What I did was I cut out all that and this will show you a nice shot of that. So we'll show you guys how to do kind of a more straighter area. It's going to be the exact same for over there. It's just you got to kind of twist and contort your body a little bit differently. So again, I already used this blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it. Every time you end a cut and start another cut, just crack your blade. Good practice keeps the blade sharp. Now, for this area, you notice how there's some fingers through here. This is already flapped most of the way underneath. So take your finger. I'm going to start on the part that is wrapped, going to the part that isn't folded underneath. So I'm holding right here, very minimal pressure. And then this is my corner. So again, we're going to start at the corner. So going right here, two fingers, tuck underneath. As I'm holding, I'm pushing this way and this way. So I'm going away from the corner this way and away from the corner this way. And then I'm gonna push this hood struts. Do not wanna let it stay up. So, boom, that's my corner. Taking my blade, little bit of tension. And this is flush with the hood itself. So I'm gonna cut down this way Taking my blade, cut down this way. So make it into somewhat of a U shape. And then I'm just pushing down. So that's that's the corner right there. That corner is good to go. So now I'm gonna finish out this piece right here. So this corner is good, this corner is good. All I'm doing is just going back and forth with my thumb to kind of push out any of those small little fingers. Notice how we're on the inside edge. Finger, using the tip of my finger nail area. It's pushing down until I get to the weld line. So that is my weld line right there. So at Wrap Lab, we wrap to the inside weld on the hoods and on anything else we can to kind of give it that full coverage look when everything is closed. So I'm using my fingernail, I'm outlining the weld line right here. Now this is where 
Blade skills come in handy if you're not comfortable using the blade on the paint, which I don't recommend if you don't have practice. What you can do is just put a piece of knifeless tape right there. Put a piece of knifeless tape, crack it, goes right through. You don't have to worry about cutting the paint or anything like that. For those of you that are comfortable using the blade, it's just blade pressure. Like, it's not even pressure, it's just the weight of the blade itself. If you have a nice sharp blade, it'll cut through just fine. You shouldn't have to apply any pressure to the area. So I'm gonna start right up here, put my blade right there, right on the weld. And I'm using this side of the weld as a guide. And a little pressure here. And there we go again. This is just blade pressure. All the way through. There we go. Take your finger. Push the rest of it down. And then what you want to do is take your heat gun. And just give it some sealant heat all the way through. Get that corner, get this corner, get the other area. Give it a few seconds to cool, start at the corner, go to the other one, tuck, there you go. So we'll just do that along the whole rest of the way. We'll show you guys the finished product and yeah. All right guys, so wrapping process is done. Everything is cut and trimmed. Last and final step, before I show you guys that, I'm going to show you the edges and everything. So, tucked underneath on the weld line, everything is trimmed. All the way through. Drop the hood, so, recessed areas right here. Show them this. Oh. Recessed areas right here, everything is tucked in. Cut out the rivets. And yep, so corners, everything flush. So big thing you want to do when you're done with this part of it. So everything is wrapped, everything is tucked, everything is cut. So a lot of people just stop here. Um, I would definitely 100% recommend post heating the product. What that means is vinyl has certain temperatures that once you reach those temperatures, it's molded to the surface that you put it on. So it's more important for recessed areas Say like if we did the mirrors, if we did the door handles, if we did deep recessed areas, you wanna make sure it gets to that pulse heat temperature that each specific brand has. So for Avery Dennison, I believe it's 175 degrees Fahrenheit to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have temp gun right here. It's just your basic, I think it's either an Amazon or a Harbor Freight temp gun. You just point it at the surface, hit the button, and where that little red laser is, it's gonna tell you what the temp of the surface is. So this is a fairly flat hood, so we don't necessarily need to get it exactly to those numbers, but what you wanna do is you wanna pulse heat the car before you put it outside or before you let it leave the shop or before you let it leave your garage. And main reason is if you don't pulse heat, the sun will do it for you and say you missed an area, there's like a little bubble, the sun will bring that out and you don't wanna go driving around with air bubbles all over your car if you didn't push some of the air out in certain areas. But, huh. but yeah, so basically that's the end of it. Run your hand over it, just make sure there isn't any bubbles or you didn't miss any spots or anything. But yeah, that's it. BMW 740LI hood wrap, Avery Dennison, Matt Olive Green. Leave a like, subscribe, leave some comments, let us know what you guys want to see, any questions you might have, anything we missed, and we'll kind of try and go from there. But yeah, that's, that's a wrap.